Hey everyone, welcome back to The Fame, your go-to channel for all things bringing up baits. We've got some juicy updates and behind-the-scenes news to dive into today, so let's get started. First up, we're diving into the highly anticipated due date of Tiffany Bates. Fans are buzzing with excitement and endless speculations, wondering if her baby will make a surprise appearance on Lawson's birthday. With labor baiting teasers all over social media, it feels like this pregnancy has been going on forever. We'll break down all the details and fan reactions surrounding Tiffany's due date. Next, let's head over to Aaron and Chad's world, where it seems they're living a fundy Florida version of Groundhog Day. If you've been following their journey, you might have noticed some repetitive patterns in their videos. We'll break it all down and see what's going on with these two. Then we're diving into the world of the beloved Bates family once again, focusing on Lydia Bates. Known for her appearances on Bringing Up Bates, Lydia has caught the attention of fans and Redditors alike with a surprising revelation about her TV habits. Stick around to find out which show Lydia's been binge-watching and why fans are cheering her on. Finally, we have an exciting story for all you Bringing Up Bates fans. One of our fellow viewers had a remarkable encounter with the Bates family during a special event at the Bates Sisters Boutique. We'll dive into all the details of their experience and share the latest updates on the Bates family's celebrations and milestones. Stay tuned because you won't want to miss any of this. If you're as excited as we are, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss an update. Let's get into it. Today, we're diving into the highly anticipated due date of Tiffany Bates and whether her baby will make an appearance on Lawson's birthday. With labor-baiting teasers and endless speculations, it feels like this pregnancy has been going on forever. Let's get into all the details and fan reactions surrounding Tiffany's due date. For the past two months, Tiffany Bates and Lawson Bates have kept fans on the edge of their seats with continuous updates and teasers about the impending arrival of their baby. The couple, who announced their pregnancy in March, has been sharing every little detail from baby bump photos to nursery preparations. Many fans have been speculating about the exact due date, with some suggesting that Tiffany might give birth around Lawson's birthday, which is on July 27. One fan pointed out, isn't he due on Lawson's birthday or something like that? Oh, I just looked it up, his birthday is July 27th, so that's really close. That's crazy. You know Tiffy Pix is praying she births on the 27th. The anticipation has been so intense that some fans even suspect Tiffany might have already given birth. One fan commented, anyone else feel like she had the baby? Nathan and Esther were visiting the last few days, however, there hasn't been any official confirmation yet. In a recent video, Lawson mentioned that Tiffany was already slightly dilated, leading to more speculation and excitement among fans. But as many experienced mothers know, dilation can be an unpredictable process. One viewer shared, dilation can vary wildly from person to person and from pregnancy to pregnancy. I've never dilated past approximately two centimeters until an active labor and I'm pregnant with my fourth baby. Others chimed in with their own experiences, emphasizing that the dilation process can take days or even weeks. Another fan added, I was two centimeters for 20 days with my second. He did not want to come out. Despite the varying timelines and experiences shared by fans, everyone is hoping for a smooth and healthy delivery for Tiffany. As one supporter expressed, I hope everything goes well for Tiff and the baby. So, will Tiffany Bates' baby arrive on Lawson's birthday, or will the little one keep us all waiting a bit? Bit longer? With so much excitement and anticipation, we're all on the lookout for any updates from the Bates family. Next, we're diving into the world of Aaron and Chad from the Bates family, who seem to be living a fundy Florida version of Groundhog Day. If you've been following their journey, you might have noticed some repetitive patterns in their videos. Let's break it down. Do you remember the iconic scene in Office Space where Peter and his co-workers take out their frustration on a malfunctioning printer? That's the vibe Chad seems to give off lately as he navigates through their storeroom. Many fans are starting to wonder if he's just one step away from losing it. He appears to be quite tightly wound, and some speculate that he might have a short fuse when the cameras are off. Aaron, on the other hand, might be the type to use passive aggression to get under his skin, setting up a tense dynamic. Their involvement with a 
Bible printing charity keeps them busy, but how many times can they use words like encourage and special in one video? Erin's visible jealousy over her sister's more luxurious lifestyles adds another layer to their story. Living in the sweltering heat of Florida, with just a sad splash pad for relief, Erin could use a more luxurious escape. Their current setup seems more like a splash puddle than anything else, far from what you'd expect for a family trying to keep up appearances. It's hard to miss how Chad has taken center stage in their videos, relegating Aaron to mostly behind-the-camera roles. Aaron used to shine while baking and decorating their home, areas that have a massive audience on YouTube. But now, with Chad dominating the screen time with his carpentry projects, it's clear that the content has shifted away from what their viewers originally loved. Many fans miss Aaron's presence and find Chad's takeover less engaging. The comparison to the Rodriguez family's Bible pamphlet printing press is hard to ignore, with their own repetitive themes and setups. Speaking of the Rodriguez family, Nari just had her third baby, and the family's activities continue to spark interest and debate among followers. While Chad tries to carve out his own niche, Aaron's charm and skills seem to be taking a backseat, much to the disappointment of their audience. Viewers have expressed that they prefer Aaron's engaging content over Chad's more monotonous presentations. As for family updates, little William looks just like his brother Carson, bringing joy to their household. Despite the changes and challenges, Aaron and Chad continue to share their lives with their followers, highlighting the blessings they receive and the adorable baby goats they care for. So, what do you think? Are Aaron and Chad stuck in a repetitive loop, or do you enjoy their current content? Moving on, we're diving into the world of the beloved Bates family. Lydia Bates, known from Bringing Up Bates, has caught the attention of fans and Redditors alike with a surprising revelation about her TV habits. Stick around to find out which show Lydia's been binge-watching and why fans are cheering her on. Lydia Bates, at 26 years old, is on a journey of healing and self-discovery after experiencing a heartbreaking miscarriage earlier this year. She's shared her desire to have another child with her husband Trace, but for now she's focusing on herself and her passions. Recently, Lydia has been sharing uplifting and positive content on her social media, and fans are loving it. In a recent update, Lydia revealed that she's back to her photography work after a break following the birth of their son Riker. It's clear that her husband Trace has been a pillar of support during this time, balancing his thriving construction business Bates Construction in Knoxville, Tennessee, and their joint YouTube ventures. But it was a recent vlog that really got people talking. During their latest YouTube video, Lydia shocked and delighted fans by revealing that she's currently watching Desperate Housewives. For those familiar with the Bates family's strict guidelines on TV content, this was a surprising choice. Lydia's decision to watch a show outside of the family's typical preferences has sparked a wave of support and admiration from fans and Redditors. Comments flooded in, celebrating Lydia's break from the norm, Lydia. So this is where the real drama happens. Past the popcorn, I loved the first season of that show when it was on. Never thought an actual desperate housewife would be watching it. I saw that too. Girl loves her trashy TV. I love it. Didn't they block out that she watches 90 Day Fiancé on a Q&A a while back? I laughed when I noticed that. Nothing wrong with it, but in their world it's probably a hidden thing lol. In the same vlog, Lydia also gave fans a tour of her newly organized home, she showed off some adjustments she made to create more space, and viewers were impressed by the tidy and welcoming environment. Many fans couldn't help but gush over little Riker's adorable smiles as he followed his mom from room to room. Supportive comments poured in, I loved seeing Riker follow you from room to room, he is such a happy little guy. Look at you, Lydia. You did the vlog mostly by yourself. You did a great job. Riker is becoming his own little man. He's so precious. Next time you should get furniture sliders. They work great. They have them for carpet and non-carpet floors. It's clear that Lydia Bates is on a path of personal growth and happiness, and fans are here for it. Whether it's through her TV show choices or her home organization tips, Lydia continues to win hearts. What do you think about Lydia watching Desperate Housewives? Finally, we have an exciting story for all you, bringing up Bates fans. One of our fellow viewers had a remarkable encounter with the Bates family during a special event at the Bates Sisters Boutique. Stick around as we dive into all the details of their experience and the latest updates on the Bates family celebrations and milestones. Carlin Bates Stewart, one of the stars of Bringing Up Bates, has been thriving in her business, the Bates Sisters Boutique. Recently, the 26-year-old mom celebrated the store's fifth anniversary. Along with her co-owner, Whitney Bates, Carlin has been promised 
promising fans even more exciting events and products. One of these events was the much-anticipated Cash and Carry, which a Reddit user attended, sharing their surprising experience with the family. The Bates family has been incredibly busy over the past few months with multiple pregnancies and other significant milestones celebrated at Gil and Kelly Joe's house in Tennessee. They are eagerly awaiting the arrival of Lawson and Tiffany's first child, which will be their 30th grandchild. Additionally, Gil and Kelly Joe are also expecting their 31st and 32nd grandbabies, with Esther and Katie both pregnant with boys. Back at the Bates sisters' boutique, Carlin and Whitney's cash and carry event drew in fans from all around. A Reddit user, NorthernGirly79, attended the event and shared their heartwarming interactions with many members of the Bates family. They met Josie, Zach, Whitney, Carlin, Evan, Michael, Brandon, Isaiah, Warden, Casey Lynn, Judson, and Jeb. The Reddit user highlighted how friendly and welcoming the Bates girls were, making them feel like they were among best friends. They particularly enjoyed talking to Josie, who they described as down to earth. Here are some comments from other Bringing Up Bates fans. Very interesting that Josie was there. Something has definitely shifted in the last year. I was at the cash and carry, Whitney was mingling around. She looks much prettier in person, almost like a teenager, not a mom of five. Carlin and Evan were the stars of the show. Thirty or more people in line waiting for a photo, no one in line for the others, interesting to hear. They all seem really nice from how they act online but interesting to see they are the same in person. I think we all pretty much knew that Carlin and Evan will have at least one more kid. It's been a matter of when, not if. The appearance of Josie Bates Balka at the Cash and Carry event also sparked a lot of reactions. Some fans speculated that her participation ended the rumored feud with Carlin and Whitney. Redditors expressed their relief that the sisters seemed to be getting along again, though many still wondered what might have caused the initial rift. Comments on the matter included, Josie attends the BSB Cash and Carry. Maybe this suspected rift has been put to rest? They've been hanging out more, so no rift, just a conflict of interest for their businesses. I don't think there was ever an issue. Both have stated that Ebb couldn't be there in the past due to working weddings on the weekend. Josie apparently doesn't do weddings anymore, so she has time to attend the cash and carry with Ebb. It looks like the Bates family continues to captivate their fans with their warm personalities and endless celebrations. If you enjoyed this update and want more content on your favorite reality TV families, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on the latest news from the fame. Thanks for watching watching and we'll see you next time.